Hey everybody, this is Doug Missy Fit Reptiles, and as you might be able to tell in my voice, I'm a little hoarse. Um, lost my voice this weekend over at the NARBC Tinley Park Show. Did a lot of talking, and uh, you know, crowd, it's a huge crowd, so you gotta be kind of loud when you talk, otherwise people can't hear you. And uh, yeah, so I kind of lost my voice doing that. And um, met up with a lot of great people, um, people from other uh, YouTube channels and followers of my YouTube channels and Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Uh, also, got to talk to a lot of really great breeders and vendors at the show. Uh, so, yeah, it was pretty much busy almost all weekend. Uh, got to see a lot of really cool stuff, too, and you will, too. Uh, in a video, I'll be putting up uh, featuring some of the really cool breeders that I did get to meet up with and interview. So, uh, be sure to check out that here coming up in the next few days. Uh, as for this video, I'm going to be showing you what I picked up at the Tinley Park show. So, don't go anywhere. I'll show you what I got. So we're going to start off with the simple stuff first. Here, I'll show you what we got. A bunch of super worms. So if you get to the show early enough, they're going to, you're seeing in online, somebody will come by and hand out these coupons or a ticket that you can go and redeem for free super worms at Timberline. Um, super worms, mealworms, or crickets. So uh, being that Ortegas love super worms, end up getting uh, some of these. So... Uh, so this box holds 500. I ended up getting about 1,500 super worms for the Tegus, um, all free. Um, my kids were along with me, so they each got a ticket as well. So uh, really great stuff there. Also, ended up getting some hornworms for the Tegus as well. They really like the hornworms, so I uh, got these from Great Lakes hornworm. Really good quality hornworms there, and they're not. Typically um, found in my area as far as buying them at a store, so it's nice to get some of that stuff at the show. Um, I found some at PetSmart one time. It was $3 per hornworm, so, um, and those have eight in each uh, each container. So, Also, picked up six blocks of Reptichip from Medusa's Morphs. Uh, they're the ones that typically do it at the NARBC Tinley Park Show. So um, they did a pre-order uh, thing. I got six of these for $15 each. So um, this should last me uh, at least until the March show. And then I'll, I'll buy some more to last me through to the next November show and so on. Um, normally it's $20 a block plus shipping and handling and all that kind of stuff. So $15 a block, picking up, not, not a bad deal at all. Uh, one of these blocks goes quite a ways. You throw some water on it and it expands and you can fill about seven CB70 tubs with one block of this stuff. So. Um, really great to have. Uh, really awesome product as well, just in general. So check out Reptichip. Um, and there's a, they have different dealers all across the nation that deal with this stuff. Um, that also have uh, you know their own reptile business stuff and everything. So, but great for other animals besides ball pythons as well. It really holds the humidity in really well. Um, or you end up doing it dry. You know, get it wet so it expands and then let it dry out, and you can use it for a lot of different stuff. So, really great substrate. All right, so now, getting into the ball pythons. So if you have seen uh, Mid-South Morphs, Mid-South Morphs, sorry, my voice it keeps on going on me. Um, I won this little boy from him. This is a pastel gravel or yellow belly, possible het pied male. So hopefully, Hopefully he ends up being pastel gravel. So I'll be breeding him to my pastel ivory. So um, going to the show, I wasn't going to be looking for a gravel male so I can possibly pair with my pastel ivory. Uh, got lucky in one Tim, Tim's uh, giveaway that he did on his YouTube channel. Again, that's Mid-South Morphs. So be sure to check him out. Um, I'll have a link to his channel below. But yep, 
got this boy from him, picked him up at the show because we were both heading there instead of having him ship it to me and um, got a chance to meet him in person and everything and thank him. So uh, really great, really great guy, really great snake. So hopefully I can get this boy to prove out to be gravel instead of yellow belly and make some really cool highway stuff. Um, so see how that goes for this next part of the season. Next up, got three snakes here, two from one person and one from another. So right here, as you can see, this is a lavender albino, this is a piebald, and this is a normal. However, they are all going to be part of my dreamsicle project because not only are they um, lavender albino, a pied, and a normal, but this is a lavender albino het pied female so lavender albino het pied female i got from matt at enm exotics he wasn't at the show but um i bought her in advance so so i got her in advance and then uh, kyle's reptiles actually delivered her to the show for me so lavender albino het pied female and then from royal ambassador reptiles the shirt i'm wearing here look at the back Got a dreamsicle on the back of it even. So, um, Kyle from Royal Ambassador Reptiles is where I got these two from. Now this isn't just normal, this is a double het dreamsicle. So this thing is 100% het pied and 100% het lavender albino. And this is a female. So, 100% het lavender albino pied. Double het dreamsicle. So two females. And then there's this boy, the Pied. And he's not just Pied, he's 100% Hat Lavender Albino. Again, 100% Hat Lavender Albino Pied. Well, the Pied is visual, of course. So, by breeding this Pied 100% Hat Lavender Albino to the Lavender Albino 100% Hat Pied, I have a one in four shot of making dreamsicles when this pair is ready to go. Now the odds of me producing one with this girl is a little less, but I can still produce dreamsicles by breeding these two together as well. So I'll have two different shots of um, from females to produce dreamsicles um, in the next few years. So of course, the female has to quite a ways to go in order to get to uh, the size she needs to be to breed. But uh, I'll be raising them up and uh, taking very well, very good care of them on the way to hopefully producing some nice dreamsicles. Exciting project for me. Really nice looking pie too, by the way. This one also has a little uh, emoji. Seems like that seems to be really uh, common here coming up now with a lot of the snakes. People are seeing them with the emoji stuff on there. So don't know how well the lighting is picking up on this, but got the two little eye holes there and then the little smiley face. Nice coloration on this pied as well. Okay, so as far as at the actual show, picking those up, that was those were the ones I picked up at the actual show. However, um, Andrew Witt from Witt's Exotics, um, lives in Oshkosh, so I live here in central Wisconsin, so on the way back up from the show, I picked up these two from him. So, I'm really, uh, excited about some of these. Just gotta open the, get this in the bag yet. Alright, everybody. This right here is a beast. This right here is a 2,800 gram, 100% het clown female. She's also 100% het for caramel albino, but I don't have any caramel albino stuff, so that part as of right now isn't gonna really affect me. But she laid nine eggs last year and she is huge, a 2,800 gram female. Again, she laid nine eggs last year, so I'll be pairing my pastel double het clown pie to her, and then I could possibly be producing some pastel clowns and clowns that are possible het pies. So, um, big girl, huge girl. We got a nice 2,800 gram female, and she laid last year nine good eggs. So hopefully I can get some 
nice egg smear and get some clown and pastel clown stuff. Um, and then again, that'll all be possible hep pied. Nice thing about hep pied stuff is you can usually tell by the markers if they're for sure hep pied. Um, not always a guarantee, but it kind of gives a, a good signal of whether or not you might have a, a actual hep pied on your hands. So uh, be on the lookout for some clown stuff available, hopefully for me from this coming this coming season as well. <clears throat> And then last but not least, also from Andrew Witt at Witt's Exotics. Again, I picked these two up on the way back up from the show, so they actually didn't get them at the show, but since I'm doing all the stuff I got over the weekend, I'll show you these. Okay, so this right here is a female pastel pied possible het clown. She's 1,600 grams and ready to breed now. So here's her head. Pastel pied, possible het clown. Adult female. Mostly, uh, she's extremely high white. She's almost all white except for the tip of her tail and a little bit on her head. And a spot. You just saw it in the camera, a little spot, but yep. So what I'll be doing is I'll be breeding my pastel double het clown pied male to her. And I have a chance of, if she ends up proving out to be het clown, I'll have a chance to produce killer clown pieds, pastel pieds, and clown pieds. Um, as well as, um, well, for sure I can produce pieds that, um, that are possible het clown as well, um, because my male is 100% het pied and 100% het clown. So if this girl proves out to be het clown, I'll end up with some clown stuff as well, hopefully. And then she won't be a possible head anymore. But if I don't, but if I don't, sorry, if I don't produce any um, clown stuff, then we'll just have to assume she's still possible head clown until, um, you know, multiple breedings prove otherwise. So really excited about the pickups we got here from the Tinley Park show. I have two more snakes that I'll be picking up in the next couple days. I'll be going to Minnesota to pick them up actually. So really excited about that. Uh, stick around for future videos to find out exactly what I'm picking up. Um, give you a hint, it's going to end up dealing with some really high-end, cool desert ghost stuff. So, um, as far as what I'll be able to pair and produce for this coming season. So, it's got a lot of really good stuff coming up. A lot of potential. And I'll be taking you guys along on the ride as long as you're willing to watch and support my channel and everything. I really appreciate it. Again, these are the pickups I got from the Tinley Park Show. Thanks for watching. Hope if anybody went, they had a great time. Stay tuned to Hissy Fit Reptiles on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, you guys have a great day.